Hi guys, so today I wanted to look through some clothing items with you and discuss sort of how you can recognize the different types of lines when you are either online shopping or shopping in person or anything like that. So when you're watching this video, please keep in mind that these are concepts and ideas that I'm hoping you can apply, you know, whenever you're shopping at any store or anything like that. So think about this as more of a conceptual skill set type of a video and keep that in mind as you're watching and keep in mind how you can apply these ideas to when you're shopping yourself. So if you are watching this on YouTube, you are watching an excerpt. And if you're watching this on Club, you're watching the full video. A lot of my videos here on YouTube and on Club are dedicated to how you can find your type. And I have plenty of videos that I'll leave down below on how you can find your body type, your color type, and everything like that. And if you are still confused about your body type or color type, I also offer typing through my website and I will leave a link to all the typing stuff down below. And also a link to how you can join club if you're watching this on youtube okay so let's get into it hey guys so i am on adored vintage and i just found this site through google looking for some vintage clothing because i wanted to do something a little bit different from what i usually do for these types of videos so let me know if you guys enjoy that and let me know if you know if you've ever purchased from adored vintage leave that in the comments and let us know how it went so that if anybody likes any of these pieces they can sort of read the comments and see if other people have had good experiences with Adored Vintage. I think a lot of these pieces are really beautiful, so that's why I chose this website, and I wanted to talk through something, again, a little bit different from what I usually do, and I also want to do something a little bit different in that I want to talk about just the lines of the items and how to recognize the lines of the items so keep that as the focus of this video and sort of keep that in mind as i'm talking through this so that when you go to shop online on your own where whichever websites you like whichever retailers you like you will be able to apply these ideas even though you guys know that a lot of types can make a lot of items work i'm just going to give the top one or two types that would have sort of the easiest time working with each item and then I want to talk about only the lines of the item and how they would relate to the lines of the bone structure and the body overall so that we can sort of shift our perspective to think about only the lines and how they harmonize with the lines of the body and look at it that way because sometimes I find that it's actually much more intuitive and very easy to think about simply the lines of the items and how they're going to work with the lines of the body. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is our first top. So you can see that this top, most likely, I would say it would be the easiest to wear for mixed taut. So mixed taut is someone who has a mixture of opposites to their bone structure and they have a pretty firm physique. They can be curvy or they can be straight figured, but the key is that they have a, a firm physique. So their arms look pretty firm, their cheeks might be taut, and that is mixed taut. So the mixture of opposites is in their bone structures and their physique is taut. So this top specifically would look good on mixed taut because it has that mixture of opposites in lines, just like mixed taut does. So you can see it has the longer line for the sleeves and the shorter line for the bodice. So we already have a long and short line. We also have a mixture of elements in the top itself. We have these light, frilly, soft things here, This, you know, these ruffles. And at the same time, we have this kind of geometric angle to the neckline. So we have sort of both the soft elements and the sharp elements just like mixed taut and their bone structure you can really see some elements of some shortness some softness some roundedness to their bone structure as well as some angularities this is going to pick up really nicely on both you could also wear this top if you are beveled soft because you could just pair it differently so if mixed taut were to wear this they would wear this with something um, maybe a different color at the bottom that's very opposite in lines so this top is sort of like light soft mostly frilly and mixed taut would wear this with some a dark bottom that's very stiff or something like that and if you are beveled soft you could actually kind of negate this short line of the bodice you could negate the short line of the bodice by wearing a similar color bottom and kind of 
also continue the the long lines that are there because the sleeves have a long line you could negate this short line by wearing a, a similar color bottom and then you would have primarily long lines to the look it wouldn't be like the most ideal thing on the face of the planet the rest of the look is going to really dictate how this comes together for beveled soft but i think you could say the same thing for mixed taut so i think it would look pretty good on both now let's shift perspectives completely for sort of the challenge part of this and let's just look at the lines and think about how they are going to connect to any kind of bone structure so you can see that like we said we have a short line we also have a long line and we also have some width to the sleeves so that means width to the silhouette i would say that for this top specifically overall it's just reading as more of a short if i had to choose one set of lines for the top i would say that it has short lines because i think the bodice of it sort of takes precedent it just looks short so it looks like it has short lines so anybody who has short lines to their bone structure would look good with short lines to their clothing. So a short line is anything that's cropped, basically cropped pants, maybe a short skirt, um, cropped three-quarter sleeves are a short line. Anything that, you know, this you might not technically call it cropped, but it's like still short. So anything that looks short is a short line. It doesn't have to be too complicated. Anything that looks short. So actually all of these are, I would say all three tops are short lines. So you can see this looks really short. This looks obviously really short. This also has three quarter sleeves. So these, all three of these are short lines. This one is the most versatile because beveled soft could wear this because of the long lines of the sleeves. But then again, if you have short lines, you can just roll the sleeves up. And then you would have uh, completely short cropped lines. So anyway, as I was trying to say, you can imagine that someone with primarily short lines would look good in this. And then somebody who has some angles to their face. So some, some angular features and the, the angles here at the neckline would pick up really nicely on the angles of their face. And someone who potentially has some width to their bones. Maybe they have um, wide shoulders. Maybe they have just wide arms and legs or wide hands and the width of the sleeves would work harmoniously with anybody who has wide bones so if you think about this overall we have someone with short bones with wide bones and potentially some angularity to their facial bone structure that this would pick up on and finally someone who maybe has a soft physique would also look really wonderful in this because it has some lightweight fabric to it the primary thing is that i would say it would look good on someone with short bones wide bones and a bit of angularity to their face and depending on whether you have softness or not it's going to depend on how you do the bottom next up we have this top so this top i would say is primarily again short in terms of the lines you can see that the bodice is short you can see that all of the detailing is pretty small and that kind of is also related to short you know and so everything about it is pretty short i would say that it also has narrow lines to it so it would look really wonderful on anyone with narrow bones as well as short bones because this is narrow and short so yes so overall this has short lines it has some intricacy it has some fittedness so this would look really wonderful on rounded mixed so if you are in between rounded and mixed then you would look really nice in this so that means that you have primarily rounded bones to your bone structure and a little bit of those sharp elements and this would look really wonderful on you and a little bit of those sharp elements are being brought in by the fabric being a bit stiffer so that's why i say rounded mixed i think on pure rounded this would look a little bit a tiny bit stiff but like in a good way not in a bad way i think it would still look pretty good on a rounded type maybe if this was a lighter color it would kind of soften it a bit and it would look good on let's say someone like beyonce or drew barrymore but otherwise i would say rounded mixed is who this would look good on next up we have this so this is 
primarily for mixed taut or mixed firm, especially if your bones are wider and shorter at the same time, but you also have some angularity to your facial bone structure. So this would look really nice on mixed taut. Any mixed type at all, I think this would look really wonderful on. Even mixed soft, this could look really nice because it does look a bit softer overall. It would look nice on you if you're mixed soft, probably only if you try to add some fittedness to it, maybe try to tuck it in or something, then you would have that waist emphasis as mixed soft. But especially if you're mixed soft and you have those a bit of width to your bones, maybe you have width to your shoulders or your arms and, and, and legs are a bit wider in bones, even though they're short, anything like that. If you have width to your bone structure, you can see this top has short lines, everything is cropped basically, the kind of three-quarter sleeves, short top, short sweater, and then uh, it's also a bit oversized, so overall that means short and wide lines. And it has a little bit of texture to it, so but it's also soft, so I can see some this person also having some beveled angles to their facial bone structure, and then it would look just right, and maybe a little bit of softness. But it's not necessary to have softness, it depends on how you pair it. So these three right away would look really nice on rounded mixed. That would be primarily who they would look good on and be sort of the most effortless on. But these three could also look pretty nice on blended soft. So you can see they, you know, these two are, are the same top. So this could look good on rounded. Um, this would be more for rounded mixed because those bold colors, they kind of pick up on some added angularity. So if you are a pure rounded type, you might want to stick to soft colors, light colors, pastels, or potentially some brighter colors, but you really don't want to be leaning too far into wearing maybe pure black. Pure black would look nice on rounded mixed in small doses to sort of add that contrast, but overall, if you are a Round a type, I wouldn't recommend wearing black. I don't think anybody recommends wearing black if you have all of these like soft features and everything is totally soft. Nobody would really recommend that you wear such a heavy color like black. So here, this one and this one, they could both work for blended, blended soft. And blended soft, you know, they would work, but they would be styled very differently from how you would style it as a rounded type. So if you're a rounded type, you would really, you know, if you're wearing this as a rounded type, you'd really lean in and you would add a lot more of the same types of elements, those soft elements, frilly elements, pastels, everything like that. And you would really dress it up with some more intricate jewelry and everything and style your hair in this kind of vintage soft type of way. I can see that looking really beautiful. If you are blended soft on the other hand you really want to use this almost as a statement piece and wearing this as a statement piece and wearing the rest of the look kind of in line with the piece for that head to toe look but at the same time also having it be very very understated and that would look wonderful on blended soft this would work well on blended soft just as it is you don't have it's already pretty understated it's kind of a basic top with a little bit of detailing you know so Blended Soft could easily wear this, and uh, even Mixed could wear this as well as this. They could wear this as well as this, but maybe with um, maybe with a necklace that's a little bit um, higher, almost like to mimic a high neckline, maybe a, a necklace that contrasts with your skin color would kind of bring the look together if you look good with high necklines that's one small thing you can do you don't always have to wear a high neckline sometimes wearing almost like um a high necklace it doesn't have to be a choker um but some some high type of necklace that is close to the neck would really be nice um if you look good with a high neckline so you could make this work as a mixed type because it's already fitted, which mixed looks good in. And we also have the um, sleeves being sort of a short line and mixed soft especially would look good in this with any kind of contrasting elements. This would be lovely on a pure rounded type, maybe on rounded mixed, and also it would work on beveled soft. And it would be really wonderful on sharpened soft 
too. So it all depends on what you pair it with. So if you are around a type, you might want to pair this with something that is more fitted. You might want to style your hair differently, accessorize differently. You know, your accessories as around a type are small, dainty, intricate, and your accessories as a bevel type or a sharpened type are going to be more substantial and sort of be larger. I mean, physically larger is a good way of putting it than a rounded type would have. And you would also wear it with some longer lines, you know, so while a rounded type would style this with some something short, something rounded, something tapered, a bevel type or a beveled soft, of course, or sharpened soft would style this with some sort of longer lines and the maybe wearing a cardigan on top of it, you know, you would still be styling it with some longer lines. So this is a piece that could really work for a lot of types that have, you know, that softness to their physique, depending on how it's styled overall. This, of course, would look wonderful on any bevel type. So we have beveled soft, we have beveled firm or taut. It doesn't really matter. If you are a bevel type, this would look really good on you. And it depends on, you know, you can see this intricacy here. So this is primarily for beveled soft, but at the same time, if you're beveled firm, you could make this work with a different set of accessories. So you can see that, you know, the intricacy kind of would pick up on some soft physique, which you don't have as beveled firm or beveled taut, right? You have firm physique or taut physique. So you want to be careful with intricacy. You want to be careful with these kinds of, um, more lightweight fabrics. You do want to be careful with that because it's going to contrast against your firm physique to have such a soft item and you might feel like it's too weightless for you. So if you are beveled firm, you would wear something like this, which you totally could, but really focus on having that very tousled hair. Focus on having very chunky jewelry to sort of ground your look and that's going to balance a little bit of this intricacy. So you can still, as beveled firm, and include a little bit of intricacy, but you just want to balance it with some really sort of thick textured heavy hair and voluminous hair and balance it with some sort of chunky heavy looking jewelry and that can be, I'm talking about just visually heavy, right, to sort of balance it, but you can still include that intricacy provided that you balance it with some more grounded grounded elements in your look. This could work on sharpened or sharpened soft. So on sharpened, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You could wear it with a similar color bottom so that there's no contrast and that would work. You can see that there's contrasting detailing on this. So in that sense, you know, that small contrasting detailing looks better on mixed, but overall, since the lines of this, and I forgot to say also, the lines of this are long and the lines of this are wide, this top to the left, the lines are long and wide, and the bone structure of, bevel, of beveled is long and wide. So that's why this is for beveled. And here we have the lines are a bit narrower. You can see the sleeves are a bit narrower. And we also have some sharpness to the neckline, which is a bit more defined because there's no intricacy around it like here. So we have a pretty sharp angle here. And we also have this kind of silk or satin texture to the fabric, which can, if it's sort of going, it has a straight line like it does here, all of this would look really good on sharpened. It could also look good on sharpened soft. A lot of vintage clothing works really well for rounded, rounded mixed. We kind of have a lack of blended as well as sharpened and beveled. So anybody who has longer lines or anybody who needs more of an understated look, there is a lack both in this video and in, you know, of course, vintage clothing itself. So I want to talk in general and sort of skip through some items and talk in general about how you could dress if you are blended, sharpened, or beveled and what you could look out for. So of course, if you are blended, something like this would be lovely. You can still do a vintage inspired look. The thing if you're blended is just to go understated. Just a little bit goes a long way if you're blended. So something like this with maybe a little bit of intricate jewelry is already going to look pretty pretty vintage on you without 
looking over the top so this would be lovely on you this if you are sharpened i actually would not recommend only because it, it looks like it has short lines doesn't it it looks like it's a bit short and if it depends on how it fits you you know if the sleeves fit past the knuckle then you will probably look really wonderful on it i would actually recommend this for mixed taut if you are blended sharpened then i'd recommend doing something that is you know have those deeper colors that will add in that kind of contrast that visual weight that is necessary that your your sharpened sort of aspects will bring into your look so if you're blended sharpened you can still definitely do a vintage look really well focus on having some of those darker colors to contrast if you are especially if you're wearing something like this where it's so soft and intricate kind of focus on some darker colors and also focus on your hair being pretty asymmetrical and, and a little bit stiffer in the styling if you're doing a vintage look as a blended sharpened type so you can still do kind of a vintage pinup hairstyle you just might want to have it be a very sort of stiff kind of look to bring in some of that sharpness in your bone structure and again anyone who's blended keep it simple less is more if you're blended so a little bit goes a long way you're already going to look very vintage even if you just put your hair to the side a little bit and add like one curl you're already going to look so vintage it's not even funny if you're any kind of blended type so a little bit goes a long way and it, yeah so that is that's sort of the advice for blended if you are someone with long lines then you can also do vintage focus on the long lines so if you are sharpened or sharpened soft something like this would look really wonderful on you and especially pay attention to i would say this is excellent and a lot of people ask me well how do i deal with not having a contrasting top and bottom this is definitely completely fine it's not that contrasting it doesn't have to be the same color it just looks really lovely if the colors work together and they aren't actively contrasting so anything like this for sharpened or sharpened soft would be lovely it would be even lovelier if the sleeves were even longer going a little bit past the wrist here so that would be really nice if you are sharpened or sharpened soft for a vintage inspired look and if you are beveled or beveled soft or beveled firm something like this would be lovely you can see that this lady is most likely beveled i would say but you know i'm really hesitant to type from just one photo but i'm assuming this lady is most likely beveled and jury is still out on this lady but this lady is most likely beveled you can see how beautiful this looks on her this kind of oversized look to the both the skirt and the top and we have an open neckline and we also have some wider lines because of some of the soft width that she has to her bone structure and of course we also have this kind of soft hair that is a little bit tousled a little bit undone so that's kind of where you're looking if you're a bevel type and you want to have a more vintage look is this kind of soft look like this lady here has which is really beautiful and if you are sharpened or sharpened soft we're looking at something like this and if you are blended then it's really going to be really if you're blended you know i've said this so many times before it's just a matter of having an understated look whatever look you're going for just understated that's basically sort of what what it comes down to so if you're blended you know having an understated look using something some elements like this that are quite minimal or kind of just adding in just a touch of vintage is already going to look vintage on you so you don't since you're in the middle as blended you're a blend between all of these types you're kind of in the middle you can pull a little bit from whichever kind of vintage style you really like whereas the other types might find it much easier to pull off one certain type of vintage style be it like pinup or 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 something like this or like that so yeah that concludes tops so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video this was an excerpt from a much longer club video and if you like this kind of stuff then we have plenty of exclusive content on club that you could check out i'll leave a link down below let me know if you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you next time okay bye